My name is Sophie Strike, and I'm one of the hand and upper extremity surgeons at Johns Hopkins. I see patients with problems of the hand and upper extremity, as well as patients who have tumors, as I have a specialty in orthopedic oncology. So there are many causes of wrist pain and tendonitis, and we see it a lot in people who do repetitive activities, either at work or in their hobbies or sports. Sometimes it's just from irritation and overuse, sometimes it's from something like a ganglion cyst. So we will see tendonitis in young active athletes who play a certain sport year round and use the same tendons over and over. And then we will also see wrist pain and tendonitis in older patients who have some arthritis or underlying stiffness of their joints with some degeneration of their tendons, who, particularly those who do repetitive activities that then leads to tendonitis. Uh, treatment options for tendonitis are quite variable. Usually for mild symptoms, we will start with a course of hand therapy. Our hand therapists, both in Baltimore and in Howard County, have a lot of modalities for treating tendonitis that can be done non-invasively. If the patient's symptoms are refractory to hand therapy, then we can talk about a surgical release of the tendons or a debridement uh, to make the patient more comfortable. Uh, surgery for wrist pain and tendonitis is a day surgery, typically. Patients will have some soreness in their wrist right after surgery, but after a few days that usually gets better. We try to have them do hand therapy quickly after surgery to get their motion back and not lose any motion, and after about two to four weeks most patients are back to general activities.